Not at the old, uh, the textbooks where in, uh, you taught in uni, where after two minutes, yeah, if it's not done, move on. Nah, we're not about that. It's however long that area needs. Hey guys, Jason and Aaron here. Today we're gonna do a video on how to fix your hump neck. So if you're in a similar posture to Aaron here, where your head's poking really forward, you're rounded through the upper back here and you start to develop that hump through here, we're gonna show you how we can fix it with treatment and going through a couple of exercises for you. All right? <laughs> Oh, come on, mate. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't do it. No! <laughs> come on, mate. Come on, mate. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Oh, Sorry. My I'll hump is so bad, Jace. There we go. I feel like a humpback whale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look like a stegosaurus. Oh, mate. <laughs> oh, mate. Come on. We'll, All right. The lights we'll on. Fix you up. Get on, the, get on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Dive down. We'll cover him up with a bit of a towel down here. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> All right, so we've got Aaron on the table finally. So we're going to start to work through his uh, upper back and into the neck. So starting up with the erector spinae where they come all the way up the back. So this is where these muscles can get really tight up towards the, up towards the neck and the base of the neck. So we're just going to look to create some length through these tissues because they're stuck in that rounded position. Then we're going to work through the upper traps, the left scap, the base of the skull here, and then we'll roll Aaron over and work through the front of the neck as well, because that's what's contributing to pulling the chin forward um, from being in that posture all day, sitting at the desk, sitting at the computer, not aware of your posture. And then we'll take Aaron through a couple of exercises to implement at home to work on correcting that long term. All right, so we need to clean first, build second. So clean the body out, get rid of the pain and dysfunction, and then create new patterns and new pathways and fix his posture. Are you lost with your health and fitness and don't know where to start? Are you feeling low on energy, uninspired, and even experiencing some pain? We wanna tell you that you have the power to completely change the way you feel. And we're here to guide you every step of the way on your journey. You're not alone. We've helped thousands of people who have experienced the same things. From developing good habits to performing our signature deep tissue body work on yourself and learning how to exercise in a way that's optimal for your body. We're giving you everything that we've developed over the past 20 years to change your life in one easy to use app. If this resonates with you and you want change, join now to get lifetime access to our Fundamentals of Fitness online program. We're excited to have you on the journey. <laughs> you do actually need a bit of it. You've always got a bit of an extra hump head. back here and a bit of a forward head. It's a heavy, so. heavy face. <laughs> got a heavy face. Yeah, there you forward. go. Carrying extra weight in nah, his face. Because of the desk work. Yeah, you're always at a desk, aren't you? Yeah. So, oh. sinking in, getting into those upper erectors there. Oh, Jason, hard. Wow. And just tracing along the laminar groove. Oh, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Sorry, Leo, blocking your camera. Oh, <laughs> so, no. really sinking in, not moving too fast, just going with what the rate the tissues allow us to move at. So, what that means is, yeah, the Stroke is pretty much determined by Aaron's tissues. So I'm not trying to force my stroke through the tightness. I'm just going as I feel like it releases at that level and then I can start to move through. So Very good. it's finding that therapeutic pain threshold where you're not, uh, the patient isn't fighting against this, um, but we're getting that productive pain level where they feel like it's doing them good and we're hitting the spots. How you going there, Aaron? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've always got a few nuggets along the way. Yeah, there's always a few good ones for you, isn't there? So just doing these little wiggles so we can try and loosen up any of those tight spots. Just breaking it down. Yeah, we can feel we're coming up to it. Sometimes people can actually get a little crack through here so you can get a little mobe going. That's why I can do these little shimmies with my elbow. I can try and apply a little bounce in there. And just slowly working through. Getting to take some deep breaths. That's it, good Aaron. And breathing out. And as he's breathing out, we can try and sink in that little bit further. And clearing it all the way down to the mid back. 
Stay connected. Feeling for where those tighter spots are coming up and just park on them. We can sharpen our pressure there. Do a little pivot of the forearm and the wrist just to change the angle and the shape. Oh, there we go. We found a little nugget. And we'll just sit back on that one. There it is. <laughs> He's in all sorts early. So I reckon we can actually get a thumb scoop straight into that one. We won't waste any time on it. So we found a spot. So we're going to sink straight down with a thumb. Finding that level. There it is there. Then we're going to angle in and look to scoop it out. So I'm going to swap over here, Leo. And then I'll work it out. Staying at that same level. We're not lifting up. Keep the pressure and clear it out. These scoops are what are really effective for clearing out that hump in the neck there. So we can work that down. So wherever we find another spot, we identified that one there was a bit further up here. I reckon we're more on it there, Aaron. Yeah. yeah. So sustain the pressure, wait till I feel it softens up and then we can start to scoop it out. So yeah, along with treatment, it's creating better, better habits throughout the day. A lot of the people that we see that have this issue, um, yeah, they have a lack of awareness throughout the day. They're just sitting there for eight to 10 hours in that same posture and then they get to the end of the day and go, oh, my neck or my upper back hurts. And they just haven't had any thought process of like, oh, I need to get up or move around or actually adjust their posture. Um, and we're not saying posture is the be all and end all. Like there can be better postures and bad, and bad postures. But if you're in one particular posture for an extended period of time, it doesn't matter if you're sitting in what you think is perfect posture. If you're in that position for eight to 10 hours, you're still gonna create issues. It's just a matter of getting more movement through the body and it, yes, it's better to be in a good posture, um, but if you're in that posture for an extended period of time, you are gonna have issues as well. So don't get fixated on the fact of, uh, yeah, being in one good posture. It's more about, yeah, getting more movement through your body, creating length through the tissues, um, and yeah, just having a bit more awareness of where you're at. So we come up here, we can find there's another spot there, which is a common spot for where that hump starts to originate and start from. So this is where those scoops are gonna be really effective at clearing out those tissues that have built up. I guess if there are people who can't come in for this treatment, they can start by using a lacrosse ball or just at least getting into their own muscles. Eh? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, so you can help and fix a lot of these issues yourself. So yeah, we do actually have a fix it yourself program as well. Aaron and Ninja uh, guide you through how to release a lot of different pain and tightness you might experience through pretty much the whole body. So yeah, it's a full, um, full program. Heaps in there. Heaps in there, yeah. So we're just scooping away, clearing it out, creating more flow in around those joints that are compressed. So yeah, we're not wasting our time with fluff strokes. It's sort of getting into the cores, getting into it and getting it done. You wanna make every stroke count is what Ninja says, isn't it Aaron? From day dot, make every stroke count. So if you feel like the, the stroke's moving all right in a particular point, then don't go back and waste time on it. Find where the pain is and address that. Yeah, this one can feel really therapeutic through here. It's nasty, but it feels good. Yeah. And we'll get another one. We sink in with the thumb and we're clearing away from the spine there. Yeah. All right, so once we've done some work through there, we can target more of the left scap. So we're gonna go through just the upper part of the <sighs> medial scap line. So sinking in up there at the superior angle and just pin it there to start with. This one can have a lot of referral pain going up the neck. Sometimes you can get it out into the shoulder. So it can be pretty nasty. How are you going there, Aaron? Yeah. You can 
here, we're coming up to one there. Pinning, holding, little wiggles. And it will take time to unravel these tissues. If you've been in that posture for years and hours every day, then it's not just going to be a one, one uh, treatment fix, all right? So, yeah, you've got to do some homework yourself. That's why we'll show you some exercises to help it out at home. Yeah, we can get rid of the pain, but, yeah, you need to make that long-term change where you're getting more movement or, yeah getting more exercise in your day, more awareness. Yeah, so we can find there's some nasty spots up there. Are you going any referral as or just on the spot, yeah? In, hold, slow, clear it out. Little wiggles, you can feel we're coming up to another spot there. And we'll sink back in a bit further. Waiting for those tissues to melt. So we can sit on certain spots for five to 10 minutes if we need to. Just holding, waiting for it to release, waiting for it to soften up. Not at the old, uh, the textbooks where in, uh, you're taught in uni, where after two minutes, yeah, if it's not done, move on. Nah, we're not about that. It's however long that area needs. Now we can start our scoops again, starting to clear it away. We've done some of the work. We've got rid of that superficial layer. Now we can get a bit deeper, a bit more targeted. And we're finding some real nuggets in there. Oh, nugget. Nugget. Oh. Back under there. He's on the ground. Yeah, that's it. Moving around. Mm. Table's low. I know Aaron doesn't like it this low because he's about six foot eight. <laughs> A lot taller than me, but this is perfect for me. I can crawl around, get on my knee. Oh. Ninja's never plugged his table in in his life. Remember your first day, Aaron? You're like, can we put the table up? And you're just like, nah, it doesn't go up. <laughs> yeah. All right, now we're going to do some strips through the upper trap. Oh. Working up to the base of the neck, and then oh. we'll do some oh. suboccipital work. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, upper traps are pretty nasty. That feels good as though, like just nice, like fascial stretching. Oh. Sink it. Oh, thank you, mama. All good? Yeah, yeah, good as. Oh. Yeah, these upper traps, they get really locked and tight, don't they? They pull the... Yeah, particularly with that posture, oh. if you're not moving and you're stuck in that hunched posture. Oh. These tissues get, yeah, really dehydrated and tight. We can feel just coming off the superior angle there. There's a nice little nugget. So I'm going to sink up under there. Oh, oh. When we refer to nugget, that just means we found a tight spot in Aaron's body. Just our Aussie slang. Oh. And scoop it away. Clear it out. Kentucky. Kentucky oh. mushroom. Clear it up. All the way. Do one more up there. Change my angle, change my thumb so we can hit a slightly different spot on it. Sinking straight in. If I need to, I can push off the wall, but I don't reckon I need much more pressure there. Hold, wait for it to clear. Now I can feel that I'm starting to move through. The tissues are giving a little bit. Little flick there. And 
and uh, and we'll come around. We'll get sub occipitals. We'll just show you this one side, but yeah, obviously we'll treat both sides, but for the video's sake, I'll just show you one side and we'll get into the exercises. So sink up under the base of the skull there, so we're angling the pressure up. That's it, so you can even cut, start to create that little chin tuck, create more length through those tissues already. But yeah, a lot of people are stuck in that forward head, forward chin poke posture. And this one can be really nasty. You can get a lot of referral up into the head. Common for headaches. Common cause of headaches, this one. So yeah, let's take our time sinking in. Sometimes it can come right out the eye into the temple. Trace our way around. <laughs> Feel as we're coming around, getting towards the base of the ear there. There's a couple more nuggets there, isn't there? Yeah. Hold pin, little scoops. So just doing little ones down. And hopefully you can see that there, Leo. Just slowly moving it down. Just like we're slowly sweeping the leaves away. We're just doing it in little movements. Clear that bit out there. Oh. You need to stop editing, Aaron. You've got to get Leo to do the work. I know, it's in my computer. That's it. Get off. Stay, to, stay behind the camera, mate. Stay in front of the camera. Yeah, true. Uh, Let the digital man do his work. Yeah, true. Or maybe you're spending more time at the laptop doing something else. <laughs> Who knows what he's doing in his spare time? Oh. Watching golf in his ass. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, Aaron doing a little bit of movement there himself. So, yeah, we encourage the clients to use their own intuition as well when they're on the table. If they feel like they need to move a certain way to allow the treatment to hit a different spot or um, yeah, they just feel like movement will start to help Ooh. that stroke. Oh. So we'll finish, so finish that one off. We'll get Aaron to roll over. We'll finish with one more through the front of the neck. Oh. <laughs> He's going to be a bit dazed. Oh. I'll keep you draped there, brother. Keep you nice and warm, although it's about a million degrees in here. Yeah, <laughs> All right, you might have to come around, Leo, because we'll stay on the one side there. So we're going to sink in pretty much where we finished that stroke. And yeah, this is from that head poking forward posture there. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? <laughs> got, a got a little, little foot tickle. tickle on my oh. oh, that's good. Oh. Yeah, so as we're doing strips down here, you can get some nervy sort of sensations down the arm. So we're just going a bit more superficial through here as we've got the brachial plexus coming out here, which are the nerves that run out your arm. Mm. So we're going to go a bit more through the front here, through that SCM, which is the big muscle you can generally see coming through here. That just feels so like nice stretch. Yeah, it's a more of a fascial one rather than that deep work we're doing on the back of the neck. But yeah, it still feels really good there. So we can rotate away. So as we do that, we can almost see Aaron's SCM there. So that's it, uh, that one there. Big one. All right, so that's the one we're targeting. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That's a big one that starts to pull you, pull you forward. Oh, so good. A few strips down through there. Yeah, you can get a bit dazed uh, once you get the head, head and neck treated. Um, yeah, it gets a lot of release of toxins through the body. So, yeah, people can get up and feel almost a little bit drunk or like they've had a couple of drinks. That's so nice. 
bit more therapeutic, a bit more relaxing in there. Oh, you got rid of my humpback, Jay. All right, so we'll leave it there for treatment. We'll go in and show you some exercises now. <laughs> So the first exercise we're working on is going to be a neutral stance. So we're going to teach you good joint stacking. This will also apply when you are sitting down. Right? So we'll get Aaron to turn and face the side here. So looking at the hips first of all, we want to make sure that we're not anteriorly tilted and stuck like this because that does cause a lot of flow and effect up the body. All right. So you want to make sure you're tucking the pelvis down. So by squeezing Aaron's glutes, he's tucking the bum under. So already that provides a lot better joint stacking in the upper body. What we also want to do, just relaxing your arms there, and we want to start to create some ab abdominal tension there. So he's going to draw his belly button in, and then he's going to try and lift his rib cage up towards the roof, all right? So he's trying to decompress through the spine, create more length through these tissues. And then, so instead of being in that chin poke posture, we're getting Aaron to draw his chin back. So you're not pulling your head back that way, you're drawing your chin in, all right? And then we're going to start to do some breaths in, the, in this po posture here. So as Aaron's breathing in, he's going to try and draw his belly button and navel in, lift his rib cage up. And then as he's breathing out, he's going to do a slow exhale out the mouth. And he's focusing on keeping that height in the spine, all right? So he's not compressing and hunching back into that posture. So he's maintaining a strong core, keeping his rib cage up and slowly breathing out. As he inhales again, he tries to lift up. And then as he's breathing out, he's not dumping the air. It's just a controlled breath like he's blowing out a candle, keeping that abdominal pressure, keeping that glute contraction, keeping those joints stacked. So what we're looking for is he should have a straight line from his ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, and ear. That's what we're looking for there. All right, we'll get Aaron to take a uh, relax there. How are you feeling going there, Aaron? Yeah, it's good to get that cued breathing and understand the decompression nature of it too. So doing the breathing whilst you're thinking about creating height within your spine and feeling the sensations, where the tensions are, if you're feeling the abs properly. Um, yeah, I think it's just good practice to get into that posture too. Mm. Like a lot of us probably aren't and that's okay, like you said, but I guess knowing where good is, yeah. is, is a good... Um, Starting point. Uh, starting point, yeah, because yeah. if you don't know where good is, you don't really know what you're orienting around. And you can apply this when you're seating. So we might just get Aaron to do a quick seated example here. So coming around to the side, Leo. So again, going from what his posture was, we're just creating that length through the spine. So he's lifting the ribcage up, drawing his belly button in, so he's got more core activation. And then he's just setting his shoulders in a nice position. He's drawing that chin in. And so that's a lot better posture than where Aaron was. Again, we don't want to be in this posture all day, every day as well. You still want to create some movement and move around a lot more throughout the day. But this is a much better posture than what he was in before. Yeah. Remember, it's not like that. Either. Yeah. You don't really want to flare. Yeah, you're not it's, pushing it's your ribs. More They're lifting, lifting up. up. Yeah, so the key to think about is lengthening through your spine. All right, so think you're getting taller, not pushing your chest out. All right. And now we're going to transfer that down into a plank. So this is going to get and target our core, but we're going to move it down. All right, so we're getting Aaron's, again, joint stacking similar to that position. So what it should look like is exactly what it looked like when Aaron was standing up. That's the same posture we're trying to uh, create here. So we're drawing our chin in, we're making sure that head's pulled backwards, probably even a little bit straighter there for Aaron. Yep, so we're trying to get out of that curve through here. Drawing the belly button in, Bit of tension in the glutes, and we're looking to keep that spine nice and straight. A little bit of curve through here is all right. Um, if you're hunched through there, then you might need to do a little bit of a retraction of the scaps just to counteract that, all right? And again, we can do some control breaths in, Aaron, in the nose, out the mouth, and he's drawing the abs in as hard as he can. So he's imagining there's a flame under his stomach, and he's drawing the belly button away from that flame. All right, we'll get him to take a breath there. Can be pretty hard. When so you yeah. Find the right position though. Is you start to shake straight away. Yeah, the key is to try and find the position where you get the maximum amount of core, but your whole body is working. All right. If you're not feeling that, you've got to really search and figure out what it is that you need to change your angles to switch on the core. Because yeah, this should be an exercise that you should be struggling after. That was about 20, 30 seconds, and Aaron was starting to struggle. That's what you should be aiming at. You shouldn't be able to plank for three minutes. All right. So there's a couple of exercises and a treatment that we can uh, do for you here that'll help to fix your hump neck. Thanks guys. See ya.